It seems like every week there's a new discussion of invoking the 25th Amendment in order to remove Donald Trump from the White House. It would be perfectly justified, and it at least seems like it would be easier than securing a conviction in the Senate if the Democrats take over the House in November, but not the upper chamber. As if it's weren't enough that he constantly attacks the media or that he's been accused of sexual assault by at least 17 women or that he's publicly known to have cheated on his current wife with not one but two stars of the adult entertainment industry, the fact is that Trump presents a threat to America by simply not knowing the first thing about being president. Like, he's very very bad at it.And recently, in addition to the legions of Americans who would love to see Trump booted out of the Oval Office, someone leaked a claim to the New York Times that Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein even talked about invoking the rarely, until now, discussed provision in the U.S. Constitution. Even if he had, which he didn't, it's not like this should surprise anyone.Go ahead and type the number 25 into your Google search box. Does it look like this? I bet it does. Last year, when the hashtag number 25th amendment started trending on Twitter, Donald Trump had a full blown meltdown in private over the whole thing, and talk of it now is no different. It's not enough, though. It is not enough to just know that Trump is upset by people talking about removing him from office. He works for the American people and should be in absolute fear that we will forcibly remove him from office if he keeps out.